Hey Ultra Media World and welcome to my review for Honeymoon. This has been one of my most anticipated kind of like creepy ass weird movies of the year. Uh, being filmed at a kind of film for Fright Fest and uh, it just looks uh, in intriguing from the posters and the trailers. Uh, this is first film directed by Lee Janiak, I think I said that correctly. I don't think he's done any of the movies apart from this one. I think he may have done some TV work. Uh, the film's main kind of star and main appeal traction is of course Rose Leslie, of course from Game of Thrones, you know nothing Jon Snow. Uh, she's a fantastic little actress, you know, really brilliant in terms of what she does. Uh, she did Utopia season two, she was really good in that, and you know, she does a really fantastic role in Game of Thrones, and I always will always like to see more work come from her, and I always will watch films when she's in it because, you know, I think she's a pretty fine actress, I think she's on the peak of her career. Uh, the film itself, uh, storyline-wise, is set basically a couple on honeymoon, uh, they're kind of young, you know, they're just going in a cabin from friends, and, you know, you get to find out basically what's, you know, them as, as characters, you know, who they are, and basically something weird happens, something strange happens, and things start to get creepy and weird and things like that. Uh, that's the main point of concept about giving it away. Uh, the film itself, don't want to burst anyone's bubble here, but the film is disappointing, very disappointing. I mean, considering this is getting a, um, a big October release in the UK cinemas, uh, it just, the trailer looked really good, the posters looked really good, but the execution and what we got is not what we really, not for me personally, what I wanted to see. Considering it's on that, you know, that lines of urge of under the skin meets kind of evil dead-ish in a way, in a way. The film basically, I want to put this quite clear to anyone that's going to watch this movie, or anyone that's thinking of watching this movie, this film is a drama and you can tell that from very, and it's fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with a drama, I love dramas, Under the Skin was a very psychological dark drama, sci-fi drama practically, I see it, you know, um, you know, her was a sci-fi drama, you can do really cool concepts with, you know, creepy, creepy ass stuff as well. The opening, of, the opening of the actual movie I felt was really strong, I felt the characters, uh, you know, quite bouncy, you know, I love the way it was had to put together, this kind of videotape stuff, and they get to the cabin, and they're kind of, this, this, they're young, they're feisty, they're just, we get to know each other, and they've got strong personalities, and, you know, understand some of their fears, some of their backgrounds, and they highlight some of the key dialogue, which is great, which is really fantastic. Once the incident happens where something's gone wrong, something's happening, it's just like, the film takes so long throughout the entire movie. The, the, the film is an hour and a half, and it takes so long to get to that peak where basically it's like we want to know what this is going on. The main appeal of the movie is what has happened, what's going on, is it this, is it that, is it that, you know. And the film tries to suggest quite a few different things. I had my own interpretations, I had my own ideas, and you know, it's never a good thing too much. And the film, even after the end of the film finishes, it's still trying to suggest something Maybe not, maybe it's, it's, it basically doesn't give you a clear answer. The film basically doesn't give you a clear answer and it leaves you very frustrated and quite annoyed in a sense because basically once it got to a really interesting peak and I was even more invested I suppose, it just ends and it's like, oh, okay, so maybe I just, just should I go now? It's kind of like, thanks for watching, you can go now and it's like, oh. Okay. In terms of the drama, I suppose it's a seed in that sense of like the husband character trying to figure out what's going on, catching her, you know, a wife out and doing certain things, you know. Um, I did like the, the end message of it and what the one sort of the reveals was. I thought that was quite clever in the sense of, you know, once your husband and wife, you kind of got a chemistry, kind of got a bond, and you, I suppose like it's the idea of identities and personalities. You know, if someone was acting completely strange from how you know them, you knew something was wrong, you knew something was different, and I liked how they played upon that. That was interesting. That was appropriately well done. You know, in terms of a drama, that's fine. But you know, you got to keep in mind you're advertising this movie as a, tra a trailer and the posters as something that it's absolutely not. And the last what what, 10 minutes maybe, you know, basically gives you more idea of what's happened, but never actually explains it and then just sort of ends. And that for me, kind of just very frustratingly ends the movie. And I just like, for me, I just like, I could have walked out, you know, and easily just forget about the movie. The film is forgettable, personally, I'm not gonna watch it again. 
It's a good effort, it was a good try, but I think if it played upon the creepy ass aspect a little bit more towards the half an hour marker, you know, it probably would have been a bit more standout, it probably would have been a bit more like, you know, a movie which I want to return back to. Overall, Honeymoon's a good first attempt, it's a good try from the director, and I think he will do some maybe better work later on. Plus, my unfortunate opinions on Honeymoon, if you're watching this video, what do you think of the film? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Comment down below. In the meantime, Andrew D, sign out. <laughs>